All right, Salim Rezai here, and I have another little mini rant, and it's no surprise to anybody that I tend to rant a lot. And so we're going to talk about glucagon for esophageal foreign bodies. And this has come up before, I think I've done a review of this in the past and talked about the frustration in the middle of the night when a patient comes in, they eat a steak, and they come in, and then you call gastroenterology, and they're like, did you try giving them glucagon? So that's exactly what this rant is about, is that there's no place for glucagon in the treatment of these patients, in my humble opinion. So I can tell you that doing my own lit review through PubMed, there have been eight trials with 1,500 patients since 1983 looking at this very topic. And three of the trials with over 400 patients had placebo arms. And it is important to have placebo arms because you want to compare glucagon to nothing, not just glucagon, and say that it works. That's like a single arm trial. So there are three trials with 400 patients, and here's what they found. Relief of obstruction, glucagon 14.4%, placebo 17.7%. Not statistically different. So essentially, no difference whether you give glucagon or don't give glucagon. To add to that, it turns out that about 25% of these people end up having some kind of esophageal pathology that would only be made with endoscopy. Either they have a stricture or there is some type of cancerous lesion there or there is a mass or something, eosinophilic esophagitis or whatever diagnosis you want to make. In addition, this is not exactly a benign thing. About 10% of these people who get glucagon end up projectile vomiting. And the concern is, is that when you have some type of bolus stuck in the esophagus making that tissue ischemic does all that retching and increasing of intrathoracic pressure potentially cause an esophageal rupture or tear and so that's always my concern in using this for that therapy so glucagon bottom line for esophageal form bodies it's no better than placebo 25 percent of these people have a diagnosis that needs to be made on endoscopy and i'm always concerned about complications of medications let me know your thoughts and comments and questions, and until next time.